If you're serious about option selling, then you need to understand delta hedging. Because here's the truth. You can have the right view on volatility. You could be running the perfect strategy. But if you aren't delta hedging properly, then you're pretty much just giving up edge. In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly what delta hedging is, why we do it, how to do it, and how to actually apply it to your trading strategies in a way that is simple, effective, and scalable. I'll take you through trade examples, break down the math, and show you how this process helps to isolate the edge that really matters as an option seller, the variance risk premium. So by the end of this video, you are going to be a delta hedging pro. You can count on that. All right, so the goal of most option selling strategies is to monetize the difference between implied and realized volatility. That's it. That is the edge in most cases. But the problem is that options unlike variance swaps, for example, come with directional exposure. If the stock drifts up or drifts down, your PL is affected, regardless of the difference between implied and realized volatility. That directional noise, that's delta. And as traders, we need to be thinking about taking on the exposures that we actually want and removing the ones that we don't want. In this case, delta, not an exposure that we want. We want our PL to be driven by the thing we are actually trading, which is volatility, not direction. So the way that we replicate the idea of a variance swap, which allows us to trade implied versus realized volatility through options is by doing delta hedging. That's the only way to isolate this exposure. So we do it. And it's actually pretty simple once you understand it. Let's say you look at a trade and you sell an at the money straddle. At the inception of the trade, you are delta neutral. Let's say the call that you sold has minus 50 delta and the put that you sold has plus 50 delta. That brings us to zero delta in total. But then the stock starts to drift. Let's say it starts drifting upwards. Right, if you think about how the payoff of a straddle looks like, and then the stock starts drifting to the upside, you'll notice that your PL actually increases if the stock starts to go back down, back towards the center of your straddle. You went from being delta neutral to now actually making more money if the stock moves a certain way and losing more money if the stock moves another way. This means that you have delta exposure now. You went from being delta neutral to maybe having minus 30 delta now, where, hey, we're going to actually make money if the stock goes down. But that's not what we want. It's not what we put on at inception. And as the trade progresses, we don't want to keep this delta exposure. So what do we do about this? Well, the simplest thing we can do is trade shares to get back to being delta neutral. Now, if you remember from our video where we explain what delta is, what is the delta of a share? Each share has one delta. So if we found ourselves in a position where we had minus 30 delta right now, and we wanted to get back to being delta neutral, the simplest way that we could do it is by getting plus 30 deltas. The way to get plus 30 deltas is just to buy 30 shares. So that's the simplest way to think about it. Once you have your option selling trade on, you sell that at the money straddle, and then the stock starts to move, you're going to either get positive deltas or negative deltas. Let's say you pick up some negative deltas, you now have minus 20 deltas. What do you do? Well, you just get plus 20 delta to offset it. How do you do it? You buy 20 shares. And then let's say the stock goes down a little bit, and now you only have minus 10 delta on your straddle. Well, you have plus 20 delta from the 20 shares that you're holding. So you have a net plus 10 delta now. It's not neutral anymore because the stock price went back down. So you would just offload 10 of the shares and it would bring you back to neutral. This is the essence of, I know it's a little confusing to try and visualize in your head. It's a lot easier when you go try to practice it, but this is the essence of delta hedging. Adjust your share position to offset your option delta. So let's break this down clearly because most of us are probably still going to mess it up until we get some practice in. When you open your brokerage platform and you go to the option chain, you're actually going to see a delta value on one of the columns on your option chain beside each of the strikes. There'll be a, a delta value. This number tells you how much directional exposure you would be holding if you were to trade that option. If it says minus 0.25 delta, which is minus 25 delta, this means that you'd be making money if the stock went down and lose money if the stock goes up by a factor of 25 cents on your option contract for every $1 change in stock price. And keep in mind that that number multiplies by the number of contracts that you have. So if we're looking at a contract that has negative 0.25 delta and you trade two of them, well, all of a sudden you're going to have negative 0.5 delta. If you wanted to offset it, you can't just trade one of the plus 0.25 delta contracts anymore. You'd have to trade two of those as well. So let's go through another real life example to really try to nail this concept before we go out and just practice it ourselves. Let's say you sell one at the money straddle on XYZ company. After a few days of the stock moving around, you look at your position again and it has negative 0.2 delta. What does this mean? It means for every $1 that the share price goes up, you're going to lose $20. And for every dollar it goes down, you're going to make $20. To hedge this, we're going to offset our negative 20 delta 
by picking up 20 shares, which gives us plus 20 delta. Minus 20, plus 20 equals zero. And we are now back to delta neutral. Now let's say the stock keeps rallying and we now have minus 40 deltas on our option position. But we already own 20 shares, so minus 40 plus 20, we're now at minus 20 as a global delta exposure to XYZ company. Well, this would mean that we only need to go out and buy another 20 shares, right? So it'd be minus 40 plus 20 plus another 20 or 40 on the share side in total brings us back to delta neutral again. And that's exactly what delta hedging is, just maintaining that balance between the delta from our options and the delta from our shares. All right, let's assume at this point that you have a general understanding of how delta hedging works. I hope this explanation has been helpful. What we're going to do now is answer one of the most popular questions, I would say, most frequently asked questions about delta hedging. How often should I be doing this? Because you could literally sit there and hedge every single tick. Every time the stock price moves, you could hedge your position. But let's be real here, none of us really signed up to do that for a living. In this video, there are two pretty smart approaches to delta hedging that we are going to cover together. The first one is just to delta hedge on a fixed schedule. For example, it could be I hedge once a day at market close, or I hedge twice a day, once at market open and once at market close. Super simple, easy to implement, and basically removes most of the delta noise that you will be exposed to. The second option is to hedge when your delta exposure crosses a certain threshold. For example, you could say if my delta exposure goes above plus 30 or below minus 30, then I'm going to hedge it back to zero. And the reason this is kind of nice is because it allows for some variance, some just random walk of the stock to happen without you needing to get in there and incur costs from delta hedging. With this approach, you basically choose how much noise are you willing to tolerate, set that as your thresholds, and then hedge when those thresholds are crossed. So both of these approaches work. Both of them are used regularly in the retail trading space. So just pick the one that best matches your time availability and style. So let's do our recap as we do in every single one of these videos. Delta hedging helps you isolate your volatility exposure. The simplest way to do it is by using shares to offset your option delta. You adjust your delta as the share price drifts, either on a fixed schedule or by setting a threshold for hedging. And doing this allows you to trade the variance risk premium without that directional noise. Once you know how to delta hedge, you're no longer just hoping that the stock doesn't move. You're actually able to isolate the implied versus realized volatility. And that brings you a lot closer to running a really tight system, treating your trading like a real business. Now that you know all this theory and stuff, don't you want some actual strategies to trade? Like if you're done following the guy on Reddit who just says, oh, do this, wheel on this stock and yada yada and you want something that's actually data driven backed by a mountain of evidence and doesn't require all day every day sitting in front of the computer then sign up for a free trial with predicting alpha we got what you're looking for we run a basket of systematic strategies that don't take all day and sure they're not the most exciting you're not going to brag to your friends about them but at the end of the day number and account go up and that's really what matters if you're a serious option seller link in the description will give you a free trial. We are only accepting 1000 members and then we close our doors forever. So if it sounds like the right thing for you, definitely check it out. We'll see you in there. Happy trading everyone. Talk soon.